What is happening here? I was three and here of time here presenting you with some more Minecraft vanilla double scoop. I am here looking at the completed iron farm. I've been busy guys Oops, since the last episode. Um, last time we looked at a view from the top of the iron farm. This time a view from the top of our house project. Um, well, there you go guys. That's the iron farm. It's not going to be as efficient as the iron titan. And it's not going to be as efficient as... Uh, the iron tower however it'll go with the aesthetic of our place more and that's what we're all about here we're all about the looks all right um i like the design it's a little pinker than than it looked like when i tried out the blocks in the world so still not completely sure how i feel about that but um i do like it um i like how that all looks how that all turned out um, I was careful to use the same doors on each one. I accidentally made 64 acacia, acacia, jeez, uh, acacia doors. There's two iron golems right now. Um, it's not terribly fast. I haven't, um, uh, afk by it, but I will afk by it probably tonight. Um, maybe not. To yeah, I will. I will definitely afk by it tonight, actually. So, um. Just in working on the house, we've accumulated several stacks of iron, and that's only been in the course of a couple hours. Of course, this one already had villagers in it, but I didn't load these three until I had built all three of them. Uh, it wasn't that hard. All I did was lure more zombie villagers over there, then I lured um, zom zombie villagers to the middle, and in the middle I built an elevator, and I just took them up there and I walked them across. I made the elevator out of a combination of leaves, cobblestone, and dirt, varying uh, resources, and um, then I just let them bridge across, and it's pretty easy. So they're now all active. I stayed on long enough for them to mate. I AFK'd, well, I didn't AFK, but I uh, was here building this house long enough for them to all mate, and I did almost all of it in one day. I did a lot of the house in another day. I stayed up until 6 a.m. one day doing that, so it's pretty awesome. All right, so here's the house, what I've been working on. I have replicated the top on the bottom. It was a lot easier on the bottom. It was much faster. So you can see it's all um, done in terms of the snow. As far as you can tell on the exterior, it looks done. Now, the thing is, I'm not planning to smooth out the exterior because um, in order for it to look perfectly as perfectly circular as possible, these varying textures and dimensions are required. So I could smooth it out. If you guys think it would look better smoothed out on the outside, let me know. But I think it's essential to the look for it to be like this just because it's a square game and it's hard to make it look circular unless you have these exact vertices so um, look at that it looks nice with the iron farm in the background weird green sky right now uh, I'll go show you inside um, they all go around like this now you'll see I've already done something to these walls here um, I've already smoothed them out a little bit and um, we had already when me and Matt originally did this first portion we had smoothed them, them out period but I was smoothing out the other day after I built it and I realized maybe I should wait and smooth out the rest so you guys can see how big of a change it is. Although you can already see because this part is not smoothed out, that part is. So let's go get some snow and you guys can join me for that part probably. I'll probably cut some of it out. It'll take me a little bit. It won't It won't be long. It's not like really any measuring or anything. I'm just placing it where it looks good. Um, I'm pretty much eyeballing it. And we can talk a little bit about the house project while we do that. I've reloaded the snow things. I've done several full loads, like literally loading it up to the top. I think right now, okay, it's not there. There, okay, so I'm down to here. I'll do that again later. Um, but for now, let's just grab all this snow. And let's go for, uh, let's just grab all of it. I'll leave that one in there. All right, and oh, I don't need all these tools right now. Just need that. Um, we do have other plans today. I need to get a few things for the next stage of the building of this project. But for now, that doesn't really matter so much. But I'd like to go ahead and get the supplies together because I want to start building this hard. Now that we've got the main outer ring completed, um, we can start moving on and building a lot more rather than skipping around on doing different things each episode. Because the reason we do that is to mix stuff up, but now there will be so many different things to build onto the house that basically I can just work on a different part of the house 
each episode. So I hope you guys will be okay with that. If you're not, I'll go back to changing stuff up a lot, and I still probably will a little bit. But I am so excited to build this house. I've been planning it for a long, long time. And as I might have mentioned before, I was originally planning it on a Feed the Beast server. And so it was going to have lots of rooms for lots of crazy different things. It was Feed the Beast Infinity. Um, lots of different things, like a huge, massive portal room and things like that. But then um, I stopped doing that. And then now in here, the space isn't as necessary. But I'm going to be a little bit more liberal with the size of things I do and the ooh, amount of stuff I have up here. I can basically have everything up here. This is will be as massive as we want it. And after we fill in these walls, I'll explain to you a little bit of what I have envisioned for this project. Um, as you can see, we've left the middle portion unfilled. Uh, it's because we do have a plan for it um, to make it look to give it a little bit more flair, um, particularly for the outside. And what we're going to do, and this is where the coal blocks that we've been saving have come into play, the reason we've been trying to use charcoal, although I've been messing that up lately. Um, I need to make more charcoal, so I'll stop using coal. But I'll work on that off camera. And, uh, uh -oh. and um, basically, right here is going to be a bunch of coal blocks down this middle strip. Um, and I'll basically show you, uh, the coal blocks will be right here. If we can keep, oh, but we want them to show up inside, I think. I don't remember. But we definitely will be placing them outside. The goal is for them to show up outside. And then on this side, we're putting black glass so that you can actually see out. And so, if you remember, when I've described this project to you, this where I'm standing is not the floor. The floor would actually be like this level. I'll put a floor there real, real quick so you'd be able to see out. You're not going to be able to see a lot. It goes with the idea behind our thing. Um, since nobody has mentioned what it is yet, I won't spoil it. Um, not quite yet. Eventually I will. And maybe even show you the image that gave me inspiration for this. Um, and we'll see about that later on, though. Um, so we're going to have the coal right here, right? And then we're going to have the glass over the black glass over here and the coal over there we tried different colors combinations of red and blue and in feed the beast infinity i had these majestic blocks picked out to make it multicolored. but now with uh this um vanilla kind of the only i mean black and red looked good together but then it looked like it was like a police station or something so it didn't look bad though it, it actually i liked it matt didn't like it. he said it looked too uh i guess derivative <laughs> and um like an impressionist build or something like that you know <laughs> so all i'm doing right now is smoothing it out because inside if you're walking these look really unappealing right these little jagged edges look really unappealing right now i'm making it more smooth inside because inside it doesn't have to be looking perfectly circular because you're not going to be looking at the inside from a distance so the reason the outside needs to look like that is so that from a distance or a Maybe up close, um, it looks like a circle, but even coming up close um, with Minecraft, the implication that it's a circle kind of gets skewed, and that's just the nature of Minecraft. Usually the bigger the structure you make, the more circular it can actually look. This is a big structure, but it still looks, once you get close enough to it, you're obviously like, nah, it's not a circle. <laughs> um, one place I'm confused, and any input would be awesome. Is so I told you we're putting glass here and coal here. Now, the problem is I don't know what to do on the inside. We were always planning to have it be in the mountain. All right, And my original um, idea on the original server that I was building this on was to have it be in two mountains. And then on here, the place we found was just so great that I changed the plan. And it has caused me to be doing a lot of redrawing some of the... Um, next steps in the last couple of days. I just realized that my original drawing won't work um, because of one, the mods aren't here anymore, so I have to redesign what the rooms are. And also, the one we had before had a small body of water next to it, a small ocean that was going to play a role, and then two mountains, one that was more of a plateau than a mountain, but um, and then one that was a big old mountain attached to it. And it was just going to be just hardly attached to both of those. Whereas this one is extensively attached to this medium-sized mountain. Um, 
Okay, see this happened. Occasionally I'm finding places where I obviously messed up a little bit. Like that. And that's good. It's good to find it now. Although in the end you won't you won't notice if I messed up something like that, probably. If you do notice I messed something up, please say so. Alright, so this is what it looks like now, guys. Like I said, if you have any suggestions as to how to put the coal blocks there and the glass, we may just go ahead and put the coal blocks in. Um and we may go ahead and put the glass in and just put something behind the glass. I could carve this out so that you can see out, but there's a few areas wh where it'll be quite a bit of mountain to to pick through. And it's not that I wouldn't mind doing that. It won't take that long to do it. Um, but the problem is that it might look tacky. It might look very tacky. So here we are. Smoothed out walls. All flush. And there you go. That is the interior here. Now the only thing that will change is the glass. The glass will definitely be inside and outside. As you can tell, we'll have glass all along. And so there will be areas where we have double glass. But it's okay. It'll look just the same as a single glass. And then this will be all coal blocks. I'm not completely sure how we're going to do it. If we're going to double them or if we're going to put like snow here and then coal blocks there. I haven't decided yet. I think we should just double the coal blocks where it's necessary. But um, that might be a lot of work. So um, Not that we're not up to the task and that's part of what we're going to do today. We're going to go literally coal mining but we're going to go to diamond level because <laughs> who wants to go just coal mining, right? <laughs> so uh, let's go take a look. Real quick, one last time, and I will explain a few more things to you, because I feel like you guys are in the dark about this project, and I do not want that to be the case at all. You know what? It would be easier to, to explain this to you. Hmm. Well, let's, let's talk about this part first, and then I'm going to go up to the iron farm to explain the rest to you. Um, so, like I said, the coal blocks would be like right there in the middle. And then the glass would be on the outside. So you can see all around you while you're here. Alright, so just go ahead and observe, you know. Um, and then the solution to the, the mountain, having the coal blocks on the outside, like, wouldn't matter. Like, you don't need to see the inside. But here's what I mean when I say I could, I could hammer out a hole to the outside so that you can still see outside and the glass walls still mean something. But then that would mean seeing through all this mountain. You won't even be able to see that far. So does it matter, or is it worth it? No, it's not worth it, probably, but would it look good? <laughs> or should I just, my other plan is to put glass with, like, lava or something behind it, or maybe another colored block, maybe blue to make it look like the sky, or maybe water, um, or maybe just stone, maybe just make it obviously underground, I don't know. Or maybe something like redstone, something that's having a charge, making it look like mechanical parts going on or something like that, so... Uh, and then I saw the scaffolding. It's going to stay there, okay? The exterior is not just white. There's other things coming in. And that's why today we have another mission. <laughs> and I'll explain that all soon. Um, so it's not just going to be white. There is more detail coming. And torches are not going to be what we use to light it up. There is going to be a different lighting source, as a matter of fact. So before we go up to the iron farm, let me show you... Ah, oh, the iron I have. And this is just from hanging around working on that, so... And... Um, if I go any further than the project, I think this probably unrenders and it doesn't activate. So here's this. That's like the chest that doesn't get anything for some reason. But this chest has a decent amount. And it's already more iron than we've had this whole time. And one good thing about the iron is after we're done or at some point during the home project, I'll be able to remake my slime farm and make a better one. And I'll go to a place with like four chunks and make a massive slime farm. Even though I don't need it, eventually I will do that. You know what? There's no way to get up there. There's that ladder, and that's why I used to get up there. But I broke the leaves. Alright, I got this. Um, all of these are almost exactly the same. On a few of them, I did something different, but like you would never be able to tell. Um, there's the villagers. What's going on, guys? And here's our home. So, let's talk about that. I'm going to go up here. Looks pretty nice, right? That's not good. Huh. Wonder how that happened. Does that happen anywhere else? 
Do you guys have an iron golem in here with you? I'll have to look up, and that's where the villagers would be over there. They'd be in that cup, so. I put them all in the same cup. Maybe that's a problem. I don't know why he's in there. I cannot tell you the answer to that question. I don't see villagers in there, but they won't be na making another one if he's in there, so. I'll have to look into that. I'll look at, into it off camera, and if I remember, I'll tell you what happened. Um, Alright, so here's the deal. The plan is to make three tubes from the outer ring, okay? There's going to be some decoration, some aesthetics added to the outside and the inside. There's, of course, an interior design plan we have, and it's going to be epic. You guys are going to love it. Um, it's different, man. It's real different. Um, so what we got in the middle will be three hallways, all right? There's going to be three tubes, more or less. They're going to be circular as well. Um, and they're going to lead to a big area in the middle, which will be the first floor, and then on top of that, a second floor, and on top of that, a third floor. And they'll all go up above the mountain. None of them will go down because I don't want to get close any closer to the ground. Um, so there we go, one, two, three. One of them will be like the main bedroom, like the main living quarters. One of them will be the storage room. And one of them I have yet to determine because before it was going to be tech stuff with Feed the Beast Infinity. Of course, there's not that much tech stuff with this, so I don't know. There may just be two storage rooms. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. The storage room is going to be pretty fancy schmancy on here, so I might need two storage rooms. Who knows? But um, it's going to be pretty cool. I won't elaborate on all the details just yet because it doesn't matter. And although I planned it long ago, now that I'm relooking at stuff, there's chances I change stuff. So, um, I want to point out that, yes, I know it looks structurally... Um, like it has no integrity so like this wouldn't last it's just plugged into this mountain it would just flop down to the ground and, and be a pile of snow um but we do have plans for that keep in mind that we're not anywhere near done yet so things like that kind of come last um you know fine details to make sure it looks possible logical um because i like builds that look like they could happen or that look extremely fantastic fantasy oriented so like a floating castle might work as long as you put an island under it that's floating as well um but like something like this i want it to look grounded and like there's a way for it to be possible and so there is going to be supporting beams and stuff in it but uh we'll, we'll get to that later um that's not the important part we want to do the cool parts first um, because it keeps you motivated to play now there's going to be several platforms that come out from it all of them circular um, and so I think there will be a few there. There will be probably a few he here. Well, there will be like one here. Maybe one there. The thing I'm trying to figure out is can I fit one over there somehow. I do not know and I do not think so. But um, I'm planning to have one there, one there, and maybe a few here clustered together and maybe a few there clustered together. Although I would like to have a few there. Like I'd like to have a few over here in this section, a few over there, one there, and one there. That would be really good. If I could do that, I would be a happy camper. Um, and then in the, uh, whatever that's called, the mountain, there will be a way down into mines. And so hopefully most of that area we haven't mined too much. So that's the plan. I think that's all I have to show you with that. Hopefully so. Um, okay, those guys don't have an iron golem in their thing, which is good. We don't want them to have an iron golem in their thing. Uh, I want to go look into why the iron golem is over there. Um, but I'd have to waste more snow. So I'll do that later. Um, if I had wood on me, I'd make a ladder and go check right now. The main thing I need to do today... Alright, we did the walls. Um, we need to get a silk touch pickaxe. We don't have to. But if we don't, we're going to waste an awful lot of time. And luckily, I have one in my enchantment table right now. The only thing is I need to get up to level 30 without dying. So that's what this episode is all about. Getting up to level 30 to get our enchanted, our, enchanted, our silk touch pickaxe. However we have to do it, we're going to do it. I'm thinking about going to the nether and just mining some quartz. Because that's pretty much the best way I've ever found to, to get levels. Quartz is fast levels. Um, I want to fix this pickaxe. And I was going to. But I was originally just going to go down and get mining. But look at this. It costs 8 levels. for Because I forgot with this system, the more you enchant, the harder it gets as well. 
So I'm just going to wait on it and not enchant it quite yet. And I'll take my efficiency. I'll leave that here. And just to show you, I was, um, yesterday I was preparing for this episode and I was going to uh, keep enchanting stuff until Silk Touch showed up in my enchantment table. And then I went to look. And it, oh no! Oh, come on. How's that possible? Gosh dang it. <laughs> okay, well, we're gonna go. Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna have to enchant stuff until. until it does give us. that. So, you know what? We're gonna grab heck a lot of iron. We should make, like, swords or something, but we're gonna make pickaxes. Pickaxes. Because we're that cool. Come back. Um, and let's just take a crafting table out there so we don't have to keep coming back in. And let's take out a bunch of lapis for the same reason. Wait. I think there's a crafting table out there, isn't there? Nope, no, there's not. Alright, so I don't know what the deal is with that. That makes me mad. But I had a silk touch available. I don't know why it would go away. Maybe I died. Did I die? I might have died now that I think about it. You know what? I should not make that many pickaxes. What if I get, get it after the first try? I'm just going to do level 1 enchantments. Alright guys, so good news. We got Silk Touch, but it's at 17, so that's actually kind of double good news. But sort of bad news, because it could mean that we'll just get a crappy one with nothing else on it. But I guess uh, whatever happens, happens. Better than nothing. So we'll come back, and maybe I'll get enough levels to also enchant. No, I won't, because at that point it's hard to get levels. So I will come back... And then I will go back <laughs> so like I'll make multiple trips, I guess. So Alright, let's see. I don't need that. I don't oh, I don't want that in my pocket even. Like I want that back there. Um, dirt. Alright, then let's go to the nether and we will just pick away at quartz and that will be it. And the next episode will be a resource gathering episode and then more building, I think. I don't know why we wouldn't just build after that be awesome. I can't wait. I don't think it's going to, I don't know if we're going to do aesthetics quite yet. Although we might, actually. We might. If we can get enough stone. I need stone and coal and glowstone. So, that'll be next episode pretty much. I don't want to get um, the glowstone in my area, though, because I want my area to stay looking nice. I know that's stupid to you guys, probably. But I don't want to ruin my nether area, because I like how the, it looks. And I think if I take all the glowstone, I won't like how it looks anymore. Okay, let's go around that then. You go away. Okay, this is the most lava I've ever seen underground. Can't avoid lava pockets. There you go, just come right out the other side. <laughs> and over here, I'll be glad to take the glowstone, but out where we come out, in front of the portals, I would rather not. It doesn't really matter that much. I don't think you really notice glowstone that often when you're um, in the uh, nether. But I would like to have the option to notice it if I wanted to. That is a big lava lake. Don't die. Okay. Okay, our goal is to not die as much as possible because um, then we lose the Silk Touch enchantment in addition to any levels we've gotten at that point. So let's play this smart here. Don't hit any zombie pigmen. And don't even... Just avoid gas for now. Nah, I can't do that. Sorry. I'll fight the gas, but I didn't bring a bow, so I'll have to actually swing back at them. But I haven't seen any. Which means they're going to probably spawn right on top of me any second now. That's how it always happens. So we're just going to do some level, level gathering this episode. <laughs> I have been, my words have been rough lately, man. I'm telling you guys. Um, we're just going to do some level, jeez. We're just going to do some leveling up, and then once we get to, I guess, 17, we'll go back. 17 levels should be really easy to get. Um, maybe we'll just stay until we get up to 25, yeah, so that I can also fix my pickaxe a little bit, but it'll take me a lot longer to get from 17 to 25 than it will for me just to get to level 8. Um, cause I think after level 7 or 8 is when it starts getting harder. And besides, I'd like to um, fix my pickaxe all the way because I use that pickaxe a lot. Way more than the fortune one, although the fortune one is clearly the more valuable. I could always not use an efficiency pickaxe. Um, but I like to, so 
I also have a bunch of efficiency iron ones I just made. I could just combine them, I guess. That's a viable option as well. But I'm not going to do that. So, I have those few questions for you guys. I would like it if you kept them in mind. I could use some input. Any of you out there who has good input about what I should do about the portion of the outer ring that is... Okay. Let's go get them, boys. What I should do about the portion of the ring that's actually inside of the mountain. Should I still have the black strips and the black glass, or should I do something different? Of course, what I'll probably do is when I start doing that, I'll do it on the other portions, and I'll wait to do it on that last portion so that you guys can see what it looks like before I add it. Especially the glass part. Like, I would say, like, so that I don't make more coal blocks than I need to, but it's not like I won't use the coal blocks if I don't use them for that. And also, there's other portions, like the supports will be made out of coal blocks, so we will need them anyway. We'll use, we'll more than use them, so... I really gotta stop using coal. I need to get like buckets of lava for cooking stuff, or I could get blaze rods. I guess I could come um, blaze farming. I wish I had a blaze farm. That'd be a good idea. Just a small one, S simple one. Maybe I'll do that in an episode here in a bit. And uh, I just need a little simple one. That's it. All right, we got 17 levels. Um, you know, what? let's get 18, just in case I remembered it wrong, because that does happen. That would be bad. And you guys are would be like yelling at me right now. No, you it was eighteen carried off please. please don't kill me, pigman. Okay, I don't even want to sort of die to him. I don't think I actually need quartz, which is a reason this is wasteful. I don't think we're gonna use quartz at all. We might end up, although I like quartz. Everybody likes quartz pretty much. So <laughs> it's it's likely that we do end up using it. I don't know if it's better to get glowstone with fortune or silk touch, but after we get the silk touch, I'm planning to come get it with um, silk touch because I think it's better because with a normal pickaxe they can drop from anywhere from like two to four glowstone, and if you use your silk touch they just drop the glowstone, which is uh, assuring that you basically got four glowstone dust, you, the equivalent of four, um, and it takes out the step of combining them back together, which of course that's like a first world problem there. Alright, where did I come out at? There we go. Nope. There we go. Found it. As you can tell, my nether's working a lot better. I don't know if I described the problem, but after days of my server provider t swearing to me that nothing was wrong, I told them to switch to my node, and sure enough, that fixed it and alerted them to a problem with the node. They told me that they looked at anything, everything, but after they switched me to my node, it became evident, uh, evident to them that there was, in fact, a problem with the node I was on. <laughs> this is not important. Don't worry about that. We won't even repair it. All right. 17 levels is what we got. We don't need the diamonds. All right. Okay, let me go. That. And I don't want that. I want that. Boom. Just Silk Touch. Sucks. I think I have an Unbreaking. Oh, I forgot. We don't use all the levels when we do that. Oh, I love Minecraft now. Um, No, that's Matt's pickaxe. That would be mean. I'm sorry, Matt. I'll make you another pickaxe someday. It's not like it wouldn't take a million levels to repair anyway. Okay, they cost the same. All right, there you go. Solved that issue. <laughs> and you know what? Let's make something more efficient here. That one or that one? What costs more? Five? How about this one? Eleven? You know what? I'll make it more efficient later. All right, that's going to be it, guys. Um, next episode, we're going to mine for stone, coal, and glowstone. So... We're going to be using our Silk Touch, putting it to good use, and that's the reason we have it for close, close stone, for Glowstone and for Stone. I don't know how much I need. I'm just going to get a lot. Um, so that's it. Please consider the things I asked you today. If you don't remember, I've explained it so many times. So you can go back. <laughs> this episode is getting long. Um, that's it, guys. Hope you guys have enjoyed. Seize your destiny, strike subscribe, and become a hero today. See ya.